All right, guys, what's up? We got a new ship to look at. Should be fun. Should be a good time. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Uh, okay, I think that's ready. New ship time. This thing's pretty good, man. This thing's pretty good. Uh, let's see. Let's go Luchins. Should really have Luchins. How do I like Vice Vodden? Uh It's strong, man. It's very strong. The concealment's crazy. Um, the gun power is pretty solid. Very good to very good. And um, yeah, really the downsides are the maneuverability, no heal. Pretty much it, basically. Outside of price. It's super expensive. Super expensive, which sucks. Like, that's the downsides, basically. Not heal, but it's a tier 8 cruiser, so... And then maneuverability and the price, because it's just so expensive. Hey, Silent, welcome here. Yeah, Nyx, I agree. I wish it wasn't in a gamble container. Or 24,000 doubloons. It's kind of a lot. That's kind of a lot. Most expensive tier 8 cruiser? It might be. CV rework 2.0? It's on the dev blog. They've detailed some of the stuff they want to do. Exciting. exciting. If it uh, goes through. And if it accomplishes anything. One can hope, I suppose. Do I care about action time? I don't know if I do. Maybe fill the tubes? Because the torps are actually kind of nuts here. Party target always works well. Could do that as well. Maybe I'll do that. Concealment, of course, because eight and a half detect is crazy. Sure, I guess an A flag. Why not? There we go. And then the armor looks like this. So you're going to eat full pens, HE, sap. Your citadel is above water, I believe. Yeah, above water citadel. But smoke plus HE spam and a crazy conceal. Yeah, and the AP alpha is pretty high, 3100. So our AP DPM is very strong. And even though our EG DPM doesn't look amazing, amazing, it's penning 32 without I have HE. So, pretty good, pretty good. Worcester vid when? Hmm, I don't know. Might have to do one of those at some point. Yeah, so this this will be in the armory soon. I actually don't remember when they said, but it'll be in the armory soon. Yeah, not yet, but unfortunately it's random drops in loot boxes or a mission or a unlock chain that's like 24,000 doubloons, basically. So very expensive. Isn't size a pain point? A little bit. A little bit.
it's a larger light cruiser, but it's mainly the maneuverability that makes it feel kind of worse. All right, gonna get tested on this matchmaker. Yeah, it's just really, 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 really expensive. Unfortunately. Or San Diego. Oh, San Diego will still have a spot. That one's got the reload booster, right? Although, with this matchmaker, that might not matter. Did I cover the CV re re rework? No. But, uh,. The intentions look good. We'll just have to see if they actually uh, accomplished anything with them. That's kind of the potential problem, I guess. One minute torp reload, yep. Yep, and you get to stealth torp. Pretty strong. Okay, we stay undetected. Nice. Good stuff. 8-5 detect, man. Pretty crazy. Although this is not the matchmaker I was hoping for. We'll try and make it work. Nice. All right. Here we go. Put some random torps out, since they reload so quick. Oh, it's a much stronger Atlanta. But it's tier higher, of course. As well. Oh, crap. Nebelwerfer gestartet. Not great for us. Nebelwand gelegt. All right. Now we farm. We just get to full pen this guy. And our smoke fire is ridiculous as well. Four and a half. Although this smoke is fading. Good. I keep forgetting the to the smoke here is not very strong. <laughs> so we might just die here. My own fault, really. Think of it as a warm up.
Oh, he still got help. Let me live! <laughs> oh my goodness, how are we alive? That's a little ridiculous. The AP is very, very, very good. Very strong AP here. The guns are great. The concealment's great. Having a smoke at all is really excellent, even if it's not the best smoke. Not sure the broadside tech is gonna work with this one. random ones out. May as well. Is he going to turn broadside to us? All right. Yeah. Am I going to make a video on the uh, CV changes? I'm not sure, because it's just like a dev blog, right? It's not that. Like, it's all going to just be, well, I hope this actually helps kind of thing, you know? For now, I'm just kind of interested in how people feel about the proposed changes. I think it could be good. The video probably will come once we see, like, playtesting and that kind of stuff with it. We'll see. Spotting? Oh no. Torpedos of Backboard. Nebelwand gelegt. Höhenbord. Wasser zu schreiben. Well, hopefully our Schliefen pokes out. Really? Pretty unfortunate. Hmm. Well, it was bound to happen at some point.
as much fun as mine's? Um, I don't know. They're very, very different playstyles. Like, they're both, like, HE, like, spammy ships. HE and AP, but... This one has to play around concealment more. And can use that in the smoke. It's good. It's very good. You don't think it's worth enough to pay the amount of doubloons for an average player? Yeah. Yeah, 24,000 doubloons is a lot. Way too much. Effectively, it's... Effectively, it's a uh, loot box ship. Auto down here is pretty bad. Might have to go AP here, we'll see. Although, lighting fires, always good. No, I don't often play in divs. Oh, 
Okay, he's dead. Good. Okay, 50k. Let's go, let's go. Although, this appears to be a bit of a blowout. According to the A devlog, Wargaming Balance Department on serious crack. <laughs> I'm not sure what to think about it, man. I'm cautiously optimistic, I guess, looking at that devlog, but... I don't know. It's all about the gameplay. The, the stuff in there could easily be very... Good or very bad for the game. All depends how they implement the changeover from from a attack mode to traveling mode. Where that happens, how it happens, all that stuff. Plane health, AA, balance, all that stuff. Active concealment? Yeah, the active concealment thing was a little weird. Not sure how that's gonna go. Yeah, manual control secondaries for carriers. Shells are a bit floaty, though, certainly. What's up, Schneider? Hey, you wanted me. Planes fly over defensive fire, you don't see anything but lose all your planes is nice. Yeah, I don't really feel too bad about that, to be honest with you, given how planes are just, like, infinite free spotting and battle impact right now. But that's obviously from a very surface ship player perspective. What, I wanted, what I've wanted to see out of Carrier's rework is that... They're not just this, like, all-powerful, impossible-to-fight thing that spots me for free, and there's nothing I can do about it. And it seems like it might help, but not sure. They've got a pretty massive problem on their hands, where... Planes and subs don't really interact all that well with surface ships from a gameplay perspective. There's not really a lot of PvP stuff going on there. So it's just kind of a situation where one side gets screwed over and that's all they can really do. BS dev blog can't describe it other way than complete BS. It's what it's certainly wild.
No mini map spotting, make defense fire. Cause panic effect like before. No infinite planes. Yeah. I think that would be a pretty good spot to be in. As far as the current design. But there's just something very fundamental about the way carriers and surface ships interact that don't, it doesn't feel like how surface ships interact with one another, which I view as like the core, core gameplay loop. I don't know, it just kind of breaks it in, a lot, in so many ways. It's hard because as soon as as soon as they nerf them, then people stop playing them, and they've their stated goal is that play rate is what matters, right? I don't know. I don't know. I think with that, the dev blog and their proposed changes, I need to see what it looks like in game. You know. Just, just need to see what it looks like on a dev server or something like that. Hey, what's up, Seth? How's it going? Yeah, what happens to hybrid BBs? I Seep don't know. Seep just resubscribed for 53 months. Seep? <laughs> 53, man, thanks. I mean, it's way over 60, I'm sure. Let's not have high hopes, keep it at a minimum. Yeah, probably. Probably a good call. PC part fund. <laughs> Dice it here, cheered X100, for your nice YouTube videos and streams. Hey, thanks, Dice T. I'm glad you enjoy the content. Nice to hear. Yeah, it's it's a tough problem they've got with uh, balancing things. Very difficult. Oh, hey, not tier 10 this time. Let's go. EC parts fund, man. I guess I'm supposed to upgrade to uh, Zen 5 soon. Right? That's coming out at some point. Rumors of a 5090. <laughs> I tried to do that, Schneider. Vice. V. Vice Spotten? V. Spotten? Vice Spotten? I don't know. I try. I checked translate, but very different language that I'm used to. So I'm not used to pronouncing things like that. Weesbodden? Weesbodden? Really? It sounded like a V, not a W in the Google Translate. Weesbodden. Hmm. Really? Wow, Translate was so wrong then. Yeah, it sounds like a V. Wait, wait, wait. Let, let me let you guys hear this. 
Wiesbaden. 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 That's what Translate gives me. I tried, man. I promise. All right. Wiesbaden. We. Wiesbaden. I don't know. It's weird, man. I'll apologize. It's just easier for me to apologize. I try, but I'll apologize. I just apologize for it. Fifty ninety for thirty five hundred. It probably will be. They obviously priced the forty ninety too low, considering how it's just sold out all the time. anything here? I don't know. I haven't checked in a while, but are they even in stock? Oh, there is something here. Uh-oh. Shop. There's an Iowa out there. Okay. Ooh, lucky us. Back it up, please. Back it up, back it up. You know what's kind of annoying? Actually, speaking of computer parts. Ouch, that's also annoying. But what's annoying with computer parts is I've finally swapped to DaVinci Resolve from Adobe Premiere. And it uses like half the video memory and all the, oh, nice, we trade with a DD a bit. It uses like half the video memory and all the stuff, like scrubbing the timeline and effects and everything. It seems all to be GPU accelerated. So my PC is running at like less than like 50% usage, 30% usage while editing and rendering videos now. So I, I bought this crazy expensive PC because I'm like, wow, my videos suck to render and scroll through the timeline and stuff in Premiere. And DaVinci Resolve's like, yeah, I'm just so optimized that you don't need that computer now. <laughs> it's like, dang it, man. It's so frustrating. Not frust, it's fine. It's cool to have a computer like this, but like, you know. 7800 X3D and a 4070 would be fine. You know, yeah, I'm good for a while now, which is nice. But the cost difference when you when you're just by the mid tier mainstream stuff, oh, the value is just so much better. It's fine now, but. Although I don't know if I'd want 12 gigs of video memory. 16 would have been where I'd want to be, which would have been 4080 back when I was buying. So that was just still expensive. Oh well. How are you not dead, sir? That's fine. Hey, we got him. Let's go. Although we're dead. 
Yay, we keep dying over and over again. Feels bad. I could do AI stuff. I, I don't really have any need or interest in doing AI stuff, but I could. That's true. You just want the fastest APU currently on the market? Strix Halo, man. Apparently that's the one. Zen 5 with... RDNA 4, is it? Big RDNA 4 chip in there? That could be cool. What's up, Snacker? Battleship How? What's up, guys? It just surprised me how unoptimized Adobe products are. Like, I knew they weren't as optimized as the other, like... You know, Final Cut for Mac or DaVinci Resolve, but it just it surprised me how much, man. Shocking. Forty compute units. Oh, it's not full RDNA four. It's like three and a half or three plus. Okay. I mean, that still sounds pretty cool. The problem will be price, though, won't it? Because it feels like any time they do a APU with more powerful graphics, like 7700X versus 8700G, like it's so much more money to get the 8700G that you might even start looking at like a 7600 plus a decent GPU and it's like better value. Some weird German super light cruiser like Atlanta or Dito? Uh, kind of, yeah. Um, you get six basically Hanover secondary turrets, essentially. And you get a German smoke. And you get six torps per side that go nine kilometers, nine and a half kilometers, with a just over minute reload. Your concealment is eight and a half kilometers, and your smoke fire is four and a half kilometers. That's the ship. Oh, and the HE has 32 mil pen. Quarter pen. It's pretty strong. It's pretty strong. Oh, it'll be notebook only? Oh, that's too bad. Still, that'll be a cool notebook chip. Having a hard time with tier seven Zara. Uh, well, it's hard for, hard to know without looking at playstyle specifically, but my general advice is on losses, because it's really only, you can really only tell on losses. If you're alive at the end of a loss, you probably need to play more aggressive. If you're dead early in a loss, you probably need to play more passive. It's kind of the general advice that I usually give. Strix point. 16 CUs. Okay. Well, that's decent. Is this too aggressive? Probably. I thought for sure the NC was going to shoot me here. All right. Oh, I'm down. I'm probably playing way too aggressive, aren't I? Like, I'm just, like, way over pushing. I need to learn to play more passive. You were thinking of seriously getting this? However, mines, which you have, is better. Mines has certainly got more DPM and range and shell velocity but the concealment on this one is pretty nuts and having a smoke is nice as well i think the main reason not to get this one is the price more than anything just so expensive
No way he pushes out, right? He does. I guess. It's AP. Oh, he turns out though, yeah. Gets absolutely smashed. Yeah, now that I look at it, literally everyone down here was like, no way he turns out, right? And they all got ready to shoot at him. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Did you miss talking about CV changes? Uh, not too much. I mean, a little bit. We're just... I'm good with talking about them uh, throughout the stream, but I'm really just interested in what you guys think about the carrier potential changes. I'm kind of in a wait and see kind of thought process, because I don't really know what to think about some of these changes. They're so weird and specific and different than we have now that I can't I don't really know what to think about them until I play with them on a server. It's kind of where I'm at at the moment. What are the changes? They're on the WoW's dev blog. There's a lot of them, so... I'll let uh, you go do some research yourself, but... It's just really hard to know. Yeah, the direction, hopefully... Like, the stated objectives of... Reducing the spotting and reducing the amount of carrier focus on one target. It's cool. Whether the implementation will be good, I don't know. But but the uh, intent hopefully is good. Seems good. Just don't know how they're going to do it. Looking for your next research bro ship after Ohio. Love DD. Still, I still love Vampire 2. I don't play Vampire 2 much, but it's very strong. If you're interest if you like daring, you're probably gonna like Vampire 2. For first read, it sounds too complicated and dumb. It is very complicated. It's a lot. Complicated's not always bad. You know, sometimes it's easy to just oversimplify things. But I don't know. This might not be a case like that. Where the simple solution maybe just works. A lot of the time for me, I just don't like the the way ships interact. Like just just the way carriers deal damage and spot a surface ship. It's just it is not a good time to fight that. There's not really any fighting back. It's just about mitigating the damage, essentially, which is not great. When there's that's the counterplay is just to mitigate the the damage. Nebelwerfer gestartet. Check this smoke fire though, eh? Four and a half is kind of nuts for a smoke fire. Al Columbus Core just resubscribed for nine months. GL with games smile. Hey, thanks, Alcal. Thanks for the nine months, man. Hope you're doing well. Man, he's probably dead. struggle with daring more of a marceau yeah if you're struggling with daring you will even more struggle with vampire vampire is harder to play than daring in my opinion because daring gets this um the heals as well where vampire doesn't and the fast cooldown smokes that you can kind of just spam are less committal and easier to use than the vampire smokes 
Doesn't make Vampire weak. It just means it's harder to play. Okay, 38,000 damage is not great. <laughs> not great. Yeah, that's the thing. How, how does the spotting stuff work? Like, what is... What, what was it called? Concealment? No. Countermeasure? What was the thing called? Where sectoring your AA will mean they can't spot you? Plane spot you? I don't know. It's it, it does that stuff sounds very complicated to me, yeah. Slava's strong. Yep. Slava's a strong one. Most consistent, probably the most consistent battleship in the game. Yeah, removes active concealment. That's what it was called. Right. Removes plane spotting forces CV to rely on spotting from surface ships. Hello, I don't know how that's going to work. Just resubscribed for 40 months. Can I apply for a 40? refund on MM today? No, sorry, no refunds. No refunds. Not in this game. <laughs> Were you getting the uh, Malta matchmaker? He was losing every game on cooldown, and it wasn't even close. <laughs> oh, man. Thanks for the 40 bucks, man. I'm sorry to hear that. CV announcement was fine right up to active concealment. Then you got confused. Yeah, that's the thing. It's... It's so different than anything we we've, we've seen. So it's hard to know without just playing with it a bit on a test server. <laughs> yeah, the mat matchmaker's been rough. Certainly been rough. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't, it's not about, uh, yeah, it doesn't make much logical sense, of course, realistically, but I've never really thought of this game as that realistic, so, you know, with a lot of the mechanics, I, I just hope the mechanics are something that makes sense and aren't just obnoxious to deal with and unfun. Because that, that's the real problem, I think, is just that carriers are just such an unfun class to deal with. It feels like a tax. It feels like, you know, like a horde of mosquitoes coming after you in the summer, right? Like, that's what it's like. So, I just don't want it to be something where it's unintuitive and unfun. Can't complain about less spotting. Compensate with more striking power. Yeah, we'll see. Bogsy gave you a West Virginia today? Like West Virginia 44? That's sick. CVs are just annoying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, there's like really not much here, is there?
And they got two Sherbergs coming here. Okay, you can turn off the stream, man. For real? You can turn the stream off, boys. You don't gotta snipe like that. gestartet. The third guy didn't actually use his in-game name to stream snipe, but the other two did. That's not very smart. They're banned now, but the other guy got away. What's the range on the Torps? Uh, 9, 5. Staying hydrated? Trying to. Definitely trying to. Oh, he died. 
They all died. Unfortunate. Yep. He might kill me here. Should do in game too, I suppose. Not just Twitch. At least when that happens, the you know they can't be in your next game. That's good. But yeah, um, maybe I should play on EU. I don't know. Oh. Um, sure. Yeah, if you want to. You've been around a long time. I, can trust, I think I can trust you. Yeah, thanks for the offer. Don't feel like you have to. Don't feel like you have to do it all or show up to everything. Just tuned in, what are the new CV changes? There's a lot. It's hard to explain too, it's super complicated. Um, mostly just trying to fish for how people think about it today. Um, they're, they're looking to change the way planes interact with a traveling mode and a striking mode and how spotting works and concealment works. They're as clear as mud, yeah, yeah. It's pretty rough. Um, they're on the dev blog if you want to take a look at the specifics. They're so different that I'm kind of feeling like I need to play around with them on a whenever they show up on a test server or something like that to really understand if it's going to work or not. But I'm glad to I'm glad to see the proposed changes. You know that they've been working on it and they got some ideas. I'm excited to try them out. Cautiously optimistic that maybe the carrier surface ship interaction won't be as uh, annoying, frustrating, one-sided as it is currently. Hoping that at least. But yeah, big, big, do big changes potentially. Felt like this symbol when I heard about them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they've acknowledged the problem now. They did that a while ago, and it's good to see them, you know, getting some ideas out there too. And obviously things can change, so. But uh, nice to see potential. Oh, hey, a top tier game, look at us. We've been fighting a lot of uh, higher tier stuff, so. Very cool. Get to fight some mid-tier. Elon's Corporate Fedi Historia raided with 34 viewers. 
El Prof de Historia. Historia? Thanks for the 34 raid. Welcome, welcome, everybody. I hope you had a good stream. Well, welcome here. Doom 2099 just resubscribed for 38 months. 38, Hello, Admiral Doom. Quality. Admiral. <laughs> What's up, Doom? 38. Thank you, man. And thank you for the raid. I appreciate that. I hope you had a good time. Were you playing World of Warships, uh, Astoria? Are the games? The games are t pretty. I'm playing pretty badly. I'm getting a little. Un oh, it goes underneath. Uh, I'm playing badly. I'm getting unlucky. Uh, I'm getting stream sniped. <laughs> All of the above. It's a it's a World of Warships stream. So you know, we're dealing with it. We're getting we're getting blind fired all the time. It's a new ship, so fair enough. To some of the blind fire in that. Norwegian Ninja underscore now just resubscribed for nine months. Nine months. Norwegian Ninja, thank you. Appreciate that. Hope you're having a great day. It is a bit of a glass cannon, yeah. But we have smokes. Smokes help a lot. Smokes help a lot. Yeah, there is a special attraction to shooting these chips. Yep. So that I don't mind as much. And we're discussing the proposed AA and carrier changes a bit, too. Not sure what to make of them. They're very complicated, but I hope they work. Is it sweater weather? No, it's way too hot for sweater weather now. I was at the park this weekend, and I'm pretty sure I got sunburned. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got a sunburn because I was like, oh, yeah, you know, it's spring. It's like mid-April in Canada. It's not supposed to be that hot. And it was like almost 20 and just brilliant sun. So, you know, I was enjoying it. That was beautiful. It was so nice. But I totally forgot about sunscreen. <laughs> Uh, do I charge this guy? I don't know if I do. Nagato, that's scary. Turn the guns, please! And let's not get one shot, hopefully. We didn't get one shot. Let's go. Nice, got him. Okay. Thoughts on the ship so far? I think it's very strong. I think the gunpower and like 32 mil pen, decent HE DPM, the AP DPM is monstrous. I think the concealment is crazy good, eight and a half. Smoke fire, crazy good as well. I think, um, the maneuverability kind of sucks. And I think the price is ridiculous. That's what I think. But it's like really strong. It's really strong for sure. Hopefully they kill him.
Ger yeah, it's a German Atlanta with 32 mil pen, uh, nine and a half kilometer torps, eight and a half kilometer conceal, right? So you're stealth torping things. Um, it's strong, man. It's strong. The price, it's loot boxes or a chain of bundles, like a bundle chain that's 24,000 doubloons to guarantee it. Or you're just gambling in loot boxes. <laughs> it's like a lot, a lot. We can shoot over this next to dark. So we don't need IFHE to pin battleships is nice. Is the AA noteworthy? Uh, not so far. Hasn't felt noteworthy, no. I AA a fire finally. Get over. Wait, is he coming out? He might be coming out. Hold. I gotta be careful here. Wait, he is! No, I push forward. I'm scared of Strasbourg. With good reason. With good reason, we're scared of Strasbourg. How are those torps looking? Might be okay. Oh my goodness, the blind torps of the century? A dev strike even? And the AP DPM is pretty monstrous here. And 4.2. Smoke fire. 4.2. 4.2. So we're just kind of chilling for a bit here. Although some of these... Lower tier battleships have too much armor. Sorry, 4.5, not 4.2. I was saying 4.2, I think. 4.5. Fed. Nice. No, he's gonna smoke. How rude. Wait, why does it think I can shoot over this? There's no island indicator. That's funny. So yeah, it's like really strong. I've been playing bat. I've been like really throwing my ship away and uh, not getting the best matchmaker. It's a good ship. German smokes though, they take, they're not very good. Unfortunately.
It's a pretty good light cruiser, man. It's a pretty good light cruiser. How do you know when you're getting stream sniped? When people shoot at me without me being detected, and then I go check their game gamer tag in my Twitch chat, and their name shows up in my Twitch chat. <laughs> Very obvious. <laughs> <laughs> very, very obvious. It was uh, the di this div. And surprise, surprise, they did very well. Almost like they had some extra knowledge. And I'm sure they're good players, but if you know where the DDs are on the enemy team and you can play around all that information. You have a better chance of winning, certainly. Yeah, I like this thing. I really dislike that it's so expensive, but the ship itself is super strong. Super, super strong. Like, I was in Malta's stream earlier, and he was playing it, and we were kind of thinking, you could you could throw this against tier tens with a heal, and of course, at tier ten, you get the reload buff as well, or reload upgrade, right? Here, you get your sixth upgrade slot, so you'd get reload, and you'd get a heal. It could probably fit at tier 10 reasonably well. Not like, not be like a world beater OP ship, but even to like think about that, it's like the gunpower here is immense. It's a strong ship. Yeah, thanks, Casa. Glad you enjoy the content. Yeah, I could cert yeah, move it to tier nine, it would be fine there for sure. Yeah. Cause you'd get that sixth upgrade slot and you'd get that heal at tier nine. It'd be a it'd probably be a really good tier nine, actually. Yeah, true Schneider. Mine's already out DPMs like Hindenburg, right? Or something? So, giving it more DPM and a heal. It makes you wonder a bit, why haven't they done a German light cruiser line? Or even like a split. Like a tier 8 split. I don't know. Those, are, those could be fun, man. Those could be real fun. What's up, Box? Plum? Hello, guys. Yeah, doing well, doing well. Playing the new ship. Playing the new ship, having some fun. Um, hey, look at top tier again. German Atlanta, exactly. We're also uh, sort of discussing the carrier changes. Since they're so detailed and different than what's actually in game it's hard to know if they'll be good or bad but interesting bank on them with early access yeah that's true there'll be a lot of hype for those tldr for new mechanics there's um the main points are there's going to be a traveling mode where the planes can't spot anything and can't be shot down unless you do de fire. And there's an attack mode where they can spot things and strike things. And then there's some weird things they talked about with the changeover and spotting mechanics and um, the boost, like your priority AA sector is gonna have like a blinding effect if you time it correctly. 
so then the strike mode won't have plane spotting. It's comp it's really complicated. Um, and it's so different from what we have. So I don't know if it's going to be good or not. But it's interesting. I'm glad they're trying. I'm really glad they're trying. Elias underscore Odegaard just resubscribed for 19 months. 2020 rivalry. 2020 rivalry? What? Oh, it's an emote. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, thanks for the 19 months, man. I appreciate it. What's up? How's it going? Hey, you king Did he ground? Unfortunate. Nebelwerfer gestartet. Four kilometer smoke fire, kind of nuts. He's fast though, man. He might out accelerate these torps. That would suck. does. Got to DPM him then. Four and a half detect with smoke fire, by the way. Disappear? Barely. DPM buff, here we go. Wants us. Okay, Torp should get him. Yeah. This thing's kind of nasty, huh? This, game, this thing's kind of nasty. Passive increase to A on paper. Oh yeah, that's right. That's the other mechanic. Um, to hopefully prevent people from striking one target over and over and over and over and over again. Um, which is maybe not like a massive problem for most people. For me, it's a bit more. Um, if you like to push up, it's a bit more. You know, it's not always just because CPQ, strike PQ, but I play more aggressive, so I put myself in a position to be focused. Um, but for other people that play aggressive, that'll be nice to give you an AA boost if the carrier keeps coming after you. That'll be nice. Will I play spotter playing Worcester for the guy on YouTube that's on day 35? Is he on day 35? Hmm. 
I don't know about spotter plane. Spotter plane seems like throwing a bit. <laughs> but maybe I'll play some Wistro. Reminds you of the bigger Z52. Yeah. Um, yeah, for sure. Pretty much, pretty much Z52, Z46 guns here. Looks like our Sharnhorse is done. Maybe I should have gone that way. Hmm. Spotter plus range mod. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that one. Yeah, do it in co-op so you're not throwing. True. He's got... 10? Yeah, it is 10. I could go AP here. For our mines. He's got to stay so broadside to shoot his guns. Well, unless he does that. Surely he turns out, though, yeah? Although this guy's so broadside. bit of time. Why did that smoke cloud make it seem like we didn't have time? We have time. Now we don't have time. Okay, we're good. What's the difference with playing singly on a target or two? Three ships focusing on a single target? Because uh, the carrier is unhittable, whereas the other ships who are focusing a single target are generally hittable. As a surface ship, you have a even fighting ability where your ship is within range to be shot at if you're firing at people, generally. So, carriers just sit at the back of the map and never die. We've talked about this a bunch. They don't risk anything and they have the most impactful spotting and damage capability because they are several magnitudes faster than any surface ship as far as repositioning planes and so they can set up crossfires whenever they want to whereas ships have to take minutes to get there um, but that's uh that's how it is unfortunately did I watch any of the Fallout show? No, I haven't. I haven't. I don't generally watch TV. What? What's it on? Is it any good? If it's good, I'll watch it. If I have the streaming service. I 
It's on Prime? Ooh. Interesting. I'll have to give it a go then. I'm pretty sure I have Prime. Or at least my parents have Prime. Maybe I can yoink a password. Wow, the shells are floaty, though, when they're kiting away. Oof. Or I'm bad at aiming. Or both. We got a very, very close game here. Wild. No, reverse a little more, please. Lucky us. Magi. Where's this King George at, man? Kind of scary. Hmm. So hard to do anything here. Ah, that's what we need to do. Oh boy. Well, apparently we lose this one. Still, at least it's close. Closer than a uh, 
you know, 10 nothing blowout. Oh crap, he's closer than I thought. One twenty eights, yeah, one twenty eights is what we got. I have AP. Damn. That wouldn't have been enough, would it? Doesn't really matter. Turpits. Oh, he was there. Hold on. Yeah, I don't think I ever killed them all there. <laughs> 220, though. 220 is nice. Where, like, that's pretty bad fire RNG, yeah? <laughs> pretty bad that fire RNG, that's okay. There's Emmy Cakes just subscribed. Emmy Cakes, thank you for the Prime. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Hope you're having a great day. Camera is... I think I'm at 40, negative 8 right now. Yeah, 40, negative 8. I kind of mess around between 40, negative 5, and negative 8. I kind of swap between these values. And each ship is different, too, is the other thing. But if you like the old camera, there's somebody has a mod, and somebody also figured out what values get you close to the old camera, I think. 
Yeah, glad you enjoyed the content. Details intended CV change yet? Yes, on the dev blog. Wow's dev blog. If you Google if you Google Wow's dev blog, you'll find it. It's quite complicated. Any way to obtain Commonwealth tokens past the event? No. I don't believe so. No, I don't think so. I mean, unless they're... Like, if you're going to buy crates, they're probably in them. But typically, that's not a great value. If you're interested in the Commonwealth Cruisers, they should be in the Tech Tree next patch. And then you can grind them out for free without spending money. Yeah, this thing's like really, 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 really good. Really good. Two height and 50 FOV is close to old camera. Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah, so give some of those a go. And there's always there's always mods to change things too. All these complex changes when they just need to implement minimap spotting. Well, spotting, in my opinion, spotting is not the only problem with carriers. So I like that. Stop saying that. Wargaming will hear me and nerf it. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I doubt they'll nerf this thing because it's really slow and doesn't maneuver very well, and it doesn't have a heal, and the smokes have a long recharge time. So I think. It's I think it's a hard to play cruiser. Probably. It should be hard to play. Oh, that's not a mod, uh, Sam's. That's just in the UI. Timers for modifiers. That's just in the base game. Just turn that on. Oh, I didn't have that on. There we go. Tier 10, carrier double sub. I mean, if we could choose not to do this, I would appreciate. Although to be fair, the dude in the Tiger 59's got it worse, all right? The dude in the Tiger 59 definitely has it worse. So, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't complain. Someone can always have it worse than you. Hey, Ernie. News on CVs, um, there's some, ve the changes look very complicated. Um, hopefully they help. They're just, they're too complicated to really even say much about them yet, unfortunately. Um, but I'm looking forward to trying them. You know, if they can, if they can reach the stated goals of Reducing carrier spotting, reducing focusing on one target alone. That's good stuff. Just remains to be seen if that, uh, if they can achieve that or not. NA is chatty between both teams? Uh, not always, but today they certainly are. <laughs> yeah, nothing could be messed up. Yeah, should be fine, right? <laughs> should be fine. German Atlanta, yes. German Atlanta with smokes and uh, much better guns. 32 mil pen, higher fire chance, way better detect. You can stealth torp with uh, torps that have like a minute cooldown on them. Pretty strong. Pretty strong. 
Yeah, German Flint is probably the better comparison. But yeah, light cruiser with lots of DD guns, though. There's a few of those. Atlanta works, too. But this one's very strong. It's just ultra, ultra expensive. There's a bundle chain that is like 20, just about 24,000 doubloons. Or there's loot boxes, so you kind of get your choice there. Which sucks. Because that's a lot of money to be spending or gambling. Yeah, it'd be nice if it came out for coal or, or something else. Or a more reasonable cost. Well, I don't really like how this game is progressing, but hey, maybe it'll be fine. A Vermont there is pretty scary for us, potentially. Okay, it's Tiger 59. Nebelwerfer gestartet. Yeah, probably should have known that he wouldn't stay spotted. Unfortunately. So it's going for a crate gamble affair? Yeah. Yeah, feels bad. poke and see if we can spot something. We cannot. Okay. Oh, there he is. Now we just got to figure out where the Vermont is. Ah, oh, there's Vermont. Nice. Oh, that's fun. Bring carriers here, or the subs here. Can we accelerate it? No, we can't. All right. The range on the torps is nine and a half. Which is just okay, but eight and a half detect makes them pretty good.
Or tier 10. Hmm. Tier 8 matchmaker sucks, bro. You get up tiered so much. It's crazy. It's gotta be 60%. Should be a coal ship, not 23k doubloons. Yeah. Totally agree. Or some form of reasonable currency or purchase price. Um, you know, they can do loot boxes and that. I, I just think there should be a reasonable way to get the ship outside of that. 23k doubloons for a tier 8 is not my definition of reasonable. Hey, Bill, how's it going, man? Uh, I don't know what's in the random bundle chain. That is that is a good point. Um, there might be some really good stuff in the random bundle chain to justify it. I tend to view a lot of the in-game stuff, like camos, flags, economic boosts, um, cur certain currencies. I mean, steel is pretty valuable. Research bro can be valuable. Um, but for the most part, people buy things because they want the ship. They don't buy them because they want like a bundle of in-game goodies, you know? You have a spring cold, dang. Other than that, you're good. I'm doing great. Uh, I had a really nice weekend. Uh, went to the park, spent some time outside, walking around, having some ice cream. It was, it was really hot this weekend. Got, got a sunburn, because I forgot that uh, with summer you need sunscreen. <laughs> um, yeah, no, things are good. Things are really good. I'm right here. Cool seeing the vids in the ship. Yeah, you wish it wasn't so much. Me too, me too. They don't have a radar outside of Missouri. Although he's moving the other way. Smart. Very, 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 very smart. Nice. That's cool. It sucks to fight that, but that is a smart Guden player. Oh, R Y Y eight some. Nebelwerfer gestartet. Oh my goodness, this spotting, bro. He says as a smoke cruiser demanding spotting from his team. <laughs> I know, I know. Big claps. Damn. Torpedos 
Unfortunately, we don't have much support, so we gotta run. Oh, he's got HE. Nice. I mean, it hurts, but nice. See those shells just appear? Oh, game, really? You're gonna do me that way? Yeah. That's unfortunate. Okay, we get away with one, though. Sick. That's very lucky. Do we get one? No, we don't. Too bad. But look at this concealment, man. Concealment's keeping us alive. A bit here. What are we lit by? DD. Can you not? Secondaries. It's a Holland. Holland divved with a Shima. Sorry, Yami. Interesting. Himmo was there, so Holland is the one that's running at okay. 
All right, well, this was a very, very uncomfortable game, but it shows that the ship can kind of live, I guess. I mean, if you're a tier 8 light cruiser and you distract a div two tiers higher than you, that's pretty good. Unser Sieg ist in Sicht. Not fun, but good. Yeah, that's my hope, uh, yeah, Chase Win, is that there's more tactical gameplay decisions made between surface ships and carrier players. Like, I'm I'm talking about how unfun and how one, un, one-sided carriers are right now from a surface ship perspective, but if the flip side is also true, where the carrier just doesn't do anything doesn't get to do anything and the surface ship player just insta counters them no matter what that's not good gameplay or good game design either right I, I just want there to be gameplay that it feels like my skill and positioning and maneuvering matters and aiming and there's still the problem of the the thing that ties the carrier to the game being his ship is at the back of the map and it's unable to be hit that's a pretty big problem. Um, but I, I hope I hope it's better. Hello, Judge Bud, welcome here. Alright, not tier ten. Not tier ten, that's nice. Cog is not great though. Spotting from a CVB delayed as it is with radar. Nah, it needs to be gone, in my opinion. <laughs> if it's delayed, there's promotion. The reason radar delay exists is because DDs in caps then have the reaction time to get up to speed a bit, so they're just not one shot instantly out of nowhere. But carrier spotting is the sustained spotting, and that's the problem. Um, you know continuing to spot you as you're getting away so you can't get away and other things too it's hard it's hard it's easy for me to just say oh no that won't work because <laughs> it's a really really difficult problem so it could work it could work what they've proposed could work or it could be much worse i don't know it's a really It's, it's tough to fit something into the game that doesn't naturally go along with the intended uh, gameplay loop that is surface ship combat.
Judge Spud just subscribed. Hey, Judge Spud, welcome here with the sub even. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. And Gregory, hello. Welcome, welcome. I didn't. I just noticed no DDs, guys. I just noticed. I'm not playing my best. But no DDs is kind of interesting. Does let us play aggressive like this. Get the cap for our team, help them out. Look at the full pens too with this ship, right? Just 32 mil pen, bro. It's just crazy good. is leaving good I am the DD now exactly damage con Feels like these smokes are a bit bugged though, I'm not gonna lie. Because it's counting down based on the smoke puff that's disappearing first, not last. Like this last puff disappears at a minute 30, and we had the timer counting down to zero around like a minute 50 on that, or a minute 40 at least. Which is kind of annoying. It makes me think I need to go when I don't, so I gotta adapt to it. Yeah, as far as the uh, carrier, the proposed changes for the carrier thing, it's it, it really is something where I feel like I need to see it in action and play around with it. This is just such a complicated thing. We, we respect cross maps. We respect cross maps. Well played. Although I don't uh, want to get dev struck by one, but it's cool. That bug was introduced two to three patches ago to all... Oh, it's all smokes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shows you how much I'm playing smoke ships. <laughs> I had no idea. Ooh, that's... See, like, this is a situation where the plane spotting coming instantly is kind of a bad thing. Still get away, but annoying. Seven planes shot down, eh? Not bad. Yeah, Maine and Wisconsin did have my attention. It's true. And I was on break, I guess. Still, two to three patches. You'd think I'd notice. I should have noticed. What a strange game. Like, they still have a lot of HP. Their battleships are pretty healthy, but we've got all the caps. It's a feature, true. Gotta remember to call those features. Yeah, I was gonna say, it, about time the Kaga decides to go after this lone Jean Bart. You noticed it patch day when it happened? I bet. That's annoying. Now that I've noticed it, that's annoying. Well, 
Will I play a lot of CB once the change comes active? No. I don't like... I really don't find carrier gameplay or submarine gameplay interesting. It's not at all why I play World of Warships. So I won't, I won't be playing them. And I know that makes it hard for me to have a balanced perspective, but I just get no enjoyment out of it. They'd have to change it a lot to make it feel more similar to surface ship combat for me to want to play it. Oh, that's the game. Wow. Are they get, getting rid of CV spotting? Not quite. In some ways, yes. Uh, if you look at the dev blog, there's some pretty extreme changes. 27k. Big game. Big, big game. All right, that is, uh, what, two hours of V-Spotten? V-Spotten? I'm gonna get that wrong, I'm sorry. Let's see, it's five o'clock, yeah. I had a good time. I think I am gonna call it there, though. I don't wanna overdo it. Try and be maybe back tomorrow, we'll see. But uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out, guys. Looking at the new ship, looks interesting. Interesting uh, to talk about the carrier stuff too. Um, we'll see if it goes through. I hope I hope it does. At least I hope it makes it to a dev blog soon. Not a dev blog, a test server. I want it to. I want to see it on a test server soon. That would be nice. Malta's still playing? Seriously? Bro is going hard. All right, I'll send you guys to Malta. Sweet. That's cool. Uh, okay. Okay.